all the things you don't realize that were a part of Smith Mountain Lake or around the lake. Yeah, there's lots of stuff to do. And we learned that you can do stuff around the lake in your pumps. <laughs> <laughs> and you can At wear your heels. <laughs> yeah. I, I had a lot to do that day. <laughs> That's what I noticed. Judge I was like, what are you Judy, wearing? She's Louise. Oh, my goodness. I think it's funny that you knew they were pumps. But. <laughs> That's the only thing because you said it. <laughs> That's fair. Making fun of All right, Chris, so what outfit. do you think? No, no, is is today a good day to get out to the lake? Oh, yeah. perfect day today. Yeah, lots 100%. of sunshine. Uh, we'll get your sunblock, bring some water with you. You're going to have a oh, great yeah. time out on the Stay lake. Stay hydrated. Yeah, we'll talk about that coming up next. Hey, good Saturday morning, everyone. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Caitlin Francis. And I'm Ashley Ann. Let's get started with some our top story this morning. Officials in Louisiana say they're bracing for a strong, slow-moving storm as Tropical Storm Barry moves their way. Yeah, people have spent the past few days preparing, filling sandbags for homes and businesses. and other places along the Gulf Coast, mandatory evacuations are in place for thousands. They say they're preparing for the worst. Hillary Lane reports from New Orleans. New developments in the death of three-year-old Josie Burleson. Authorities are now calling it a drowning after initial autopsy results shed water in her lungs and sinuses. We're also learning more about the moments following Josie's disappearance. In the 911 call obtained by WDBJ7, you can hear Adrian Puckett, the boyfriend of Josie's mother, Kimberly Moore, talking about her last known whereabouts. Both Puckett and Moore, you see them on your screen, are facing charges related to Josie's death. Memorial services for Josie are set for today at noon at the Mullins Funeral Home in Radford. And I'm Caitlin Francis. A Virginia man is out of prison and back home after spending decades in jail for a crime he did not commit. Daryl Hunter was just 15 years old when he, his brother, and a friend were found guilty in the murder of Stephen Smith. In 2017, Hunter's brother reached out to our affiliate WTKR with their story. That news station learned the jury's decision relied heavily on witness testimony, but several of those witnesses later admitted to lying. Hunter's brother and their family friend were released on parole last year. Now, at 40 years old, Hunter was able to reclaim his freedom as well. Hunter says the next step is seeking exoneration. He's enlisted the help of attorney Benjamin Crump, who's best known for representing Trayvon Martin's family. And it's the biggest settlement involving an opioid drug in U.S. history. A British company agreed to pay $1.4 billion to the Department of Justice and Federal Trade Commission. Virginia will receive a portion of that settlement. The agreement involves the drug Suboxone. It's a drug used to help people kick a heroin or opioid addiction. It was marketed as being less likely to be abused, but that claim was never confirmed. All right, let's take a turn now to our hometown forecast. I'm over in the Weather Center this morning with meteorologist Christian Johansson. Hi there. Hey. All right, so all of this behind us this morning. Yeah. This is Tropical Storm Barry. Yeah, Barry's uh, sure bringing a lot of uh, pain to folks down in southeast yes. Louisiana. 100%. I was outside for just a couple hours yesterday yep. without a hat on. My nose got burned a little bit. That quick, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I wear sunscreen on my face every day. Yeah, I need to, I need to go cut my grass, and I'm, <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to have a hat on. Yeah, get that bucket hat. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Christian. And it was a scary car accident. It almost claimed the lives of a Richmond area couple. Yeah, they were stuck in a smoking car, unable to move. But it's what happens next that the couple says made all the difference. WDBJ 7's Siobhan McGirl has a story from Lynchburg you will only see here on WDBJ 7. On a field of athletes, his name is Coach Rob Mendez, and he stands out above the rest. He was born without arms and legs. He's a football coach who's never even run the ball. He learned football from video games. How interesting. He leads the JV team in San Jose, California, draws up plays with that stylus you see there in his mouth. Wow. Is it improbable? Maybe. Impossible? Absolutely not. Get this. He led his team to an 8-2 record last year and won an award for perseverance at the ESPYs this week. Here, look, listen to this. He spoke to the room about courage. Wow. I mean, we said it earlier, some serious Saturday motivation. Yes. He says he eventually Inspiring. wants to coach varsity, maybe college, even an NFL team one day. And you want to know what? I bet you he could. He's I bet you he good. could, too. He's got the right mentality. Can't say he can't do anything. Nope. So that's that's an amazing story that's and a, inspiring. That's yeah, a talented no coach. That'll get your right Saturday there. started off mm -hmm. right. Remember last year when they gave a cow away? No, I don't. I don't either, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> I think we were thinking the same thing, though, about the tomato the tomatoes, fest. We yeah, I'm we're thinking like tomatillas, tomato. yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah, tomato fight, you know, uh, <laughs> like they do in Spain. <laughs> Total. Mm -hmm. Toss. That'd be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. You'd get real dirty, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, time to take a look at what's trending this morning. Today is National French Fry Day. Uh -oh. Time to appreciate the thing of beauty that is the French fry. Am I right? No matter who invented it, Americans have embraced the whole 
the, the fry thing wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Get this, we eat 30 pounds of french fries every single year. It's an average. Ew. It's a lot of french fries. <laughs> wow. But if you like your fries, be sure to celebrate National French Fry Day with a serving of your own. Soccer stars Sam Mewis and Alyssa Naher threw out the first pitch at Fenway Park. The two are New England natives and Boston Red Sox fans since childhood. They, they say this was a huge dream come true and an honor. Now, you remember they just won the U.S. Women's World Cup. The Red Sox beat the Dodgers last night 8-1. to one. So maybe right, some good luck charms yeah. there. Pottery Barn, I love this, is getting ready to <laughs> debut a special collection of products inspired by the popular TV show Friends. There's the infamous apothecary table, which had its own episode named after it years ago. This is one of the 14 items altogether to be offered in a price range from $13 to $1,100. <laughs> Pottery Barn's <laughs> Friends Collection releases at the end of the month. That's July 30th. Isolated or widespread? Heavy uh, rainfall. You know, right now the models really look like it's going to be isolated to the mountains. Mm. Okay. So I would say, I'd say afternoon thunderstorms developing. I mean, they could move towards the east as well, right. but it, it more than likely is going to be the slow moving yeah. kind of, the same thing we've seen. Are we talking flooding concerns weeks. for us? As of right now, no. Okay. No, but if that changes, we'll let you know. Yes, All right. stay yeah. tuned. All right, thanks, Christian. Mm -hmm. And you guys definitely want to see this. It's super cute. A California sea lion pup made its public debut at Brookfield Zoo in Illinois. Look at how cute. Aww. It's a male pup named Charger. He was born June 10th to a nine-year-old sea lion named Josephine. Charger has nearly doubled in weight since his birth. He's about 40 pounds now. Oh big, big guy. The Chicago Zoological Society says the pup will have access to the indoor area as it, he gets acclimated to his new surroundings as well. But how cute is that? Well, so he a, looks like he's getting pretty acclimated there. We have a pup in here, but I don't think our pup's going to no, like that pup. No, 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 definitely not. No. Well, he could, you never know. But we're, That's true. we're heading back outside <laughs> your hometown patio after the break. And Christian just mentioned we've got a special guest joining us. Pet Stories is next. Thank you, dog slabber. I just love. He is the most precious, beautiful little baby, and, and I wish I wish you would pick your face up so everybody could see your eyes. His beautiful face. Thor, Thor, look. He's he is too him. concerned. I had treats, so. But his look eyes are just gorgeous blue. He's got pretty little spots. He's just with his pink spotted yeah. nose. You're and just with, so in precious. one ear, guys up.